Insights Connector app gives you access to your Business Central data, allowing you to use any of our Power BI report suites. The Power BI Insights Connector must be installed to use any of our Business Central Insights Power BI apps. Let's open the Connector app setup page in BC. In the Tell Me box, enter Insights Connector and then choose the related link. The Connector app boasts some impressive features. You can select which companies to import into Power BI, set up dimensions and item attributes, set up and configure your most important business KPIs or measures, and set up Power BI GL account categories. You can set up budgets and much, much more. Let's begin by configuring Power BI date table. In the start year, select the earliest year you will use to analyze your data in Power BI. This would generally be the first year of the first transaction. In the number of future years, select the number of future years you would like to use to analyze the data in Power BI. If you select the number two, for example, and the current calendar year is 2022, then the date table in the Power BI will contain data until 2024. In the fiscal year start month, select the first fiscal year start month number. In Australia, for example, the fiscal year starts on the 1st of July, so therefore you would select the number seven. In the base calendar code, select the calendar code that you will use to calculate your non-working day, such as weekends and holidays. To calculate non-working days, select actions and then calculate non-working days. One of the advantages of the Business Central Insights app is that they can support an unlimited number of companies. In the Connector app, select Related Companies. You can select which companies you would like to import into Power BI by selecting the Enabled button. Select a default company that will be visible when users open our Power BI apps. In our example here, the default company is Wayne Enterprises Incorporated. The Business Central Insights app will give you the ability to filter your data by 15 custom dimensions, including a standard customer group, salesperson and item group dimension. Open the dimension setup in the Connector app. Please note that the dimension setup is app specific. Each app will have a unique set of dimensions. For example, a salesperson dimension might only be relevant for the sales app, but not for the purchasing or inventory app. When you install the connector, the first eight dimensions will be copied from the general ledger setup. In Power BI, you will find all 15 dimensions in the filters plane on the right side of the reports. Please note that the dimension setup is company specific, so you will need to set up dimensions for each company separately. In the Business Central Insights apps, you will have the ability to filter your data by up to 16 pre-selected item attributes. Open the item attribute setup in the connector app. Choose show more to change the ID values of the item attributes. The selected item attributes will be denormalized and available as columns in the item table in our Power BI apps. In Power BI, you will find all 16 item attributes in the filters page on the right hand side of the reports. Please notice that the item attribute setup is company specific, so you will have to set the item attributes for each company separately. Each industry and company is different and has its own targets and KPIs. Open the measure setup in the connector app. On the measure setup screen, you will have the ability to set custom lower and upper boundaries for a number of predefined measures. In our case, profit percentage is between 25 and 35%. This will then be applied to the Power BI reports displaying different colours and icons. If the profit percentage is below 25%, the colour will be red. If the profit percentage is between 25 and 35, the colour will be yellow. And above 35%, the colour will be green. Let's have a look at how to configure GL account categories for Power BI. In Dynamics 365 Business Central, search for GL account categories. Here you can create new categories or rename existing ones. In the GL account category screen, you'll find two extra fields, account subcategory and account subcategory two. For each GL account category, please select the appropriate account subcategory and also account subcategory two where required. These two fancy fields will be used by Power BI to calculate financial ratios and KPIs, and some other smacking ratios that would make any accountant a little steamy under the collar. 
including efficiency, debt, leverage, liquidity and profitability ratios. You need to make sure that all your GL accounts are classified correctly into groups. If you haven't fallen asleep, you should be ready to create some of the most beautiful finance reports around. In the Sales, Purchasing and Finance apps, you will have the ability to analyse actuals versus budgeted values. The Sales Insight app supports sales budgets, the Purchasing Insights app purchasing budgets, and the Finance Insights app contains the GL budgets. An additional budgeted group by field has been added to the Sales, Purchase and GL budgets. If you select Budgeted Group by Equals Month, it will indicate to Power BI that the budgets in Business Central are set on a monthly level. In our Power BI apps, you will then be able to view the data and compare budget versus actuals on a daily level. The Power BI will divide monthly budgets based on the number of working days and calculate the daily budgets. This feature simplifies the process of preparing your budgets as well as reduces the number of budgeted entries. Please refer to the standard Business Central documentation to set up budgets.